Hey folks, uh, just a New Hampshire update. Haven't done one in a little while. Uh, again, from the Union Misleader. Uh, veto override means parents must be notified. Abortion law. Parents of minors will be given 48 hours notice of procedure. It did go through. Uh, the one of special interest is uh, the legislator legislature expands castle doctrine beyond the wall or beyond the home votes enough to override possible veto proponents argue bill promotes second amendment rights while opponents say it threatens public safety Ooh. the house and senate voted wednesday to expand the castle doctrine beyond a person's home but gun owners still need a license to carry a concealed weapon they scratched the concealed carry or open constitutional carry uh, but still you know with this bill Ward Byrd would not have been put in jail Senate Bill 88 began as a sweeping rewrite of many of the state's gun laws but several provisions were removed when House and Senate negotiators sat down to work out an agreement last week. The agreement ex expands the Castle Doctrine, which allows a person to use deadly force when threatened inside his or her home to include any place a person has a legal right to be. The bill also provides civil immunity to any person using deadly force for self-protection or to protect another individual. A huge step forward. After lawmakers approved the bill, House Speaker William O'Brien said, our citizens deserve the right to defend themselves if they are threatened. This bill simply ensures that government won't interfere with individuals who use firearms to protect themselves. This is a bedrock principle that falls within the New Hampshire tradition and this law will affirm that key belief. During the House debate, uh, Representative Philip Ginsburg, Democrat Durham, warned the bill could create safety problems for the general public. He said it allows armed individuals to insert themselves into a situation in a public place where there are bystanders and the person is not trained to use deadly force or, to, or deal with such situations. Current law requires a person to retreat when possible if faced with deadly force outside the home. Representative Jennifer Kofi, uh, Republican Andover, argued that the law should not require her to turn my back to a would-be rapist or robber. I like her. Representative Dave Walsh, uh, Republican Kingston, said the changes are meant to make the law more specific. The right to defend oneself whenever you have a right, where, wherever you have a right to be, is not a change from current law. The difference is, is this is not vague, he said. The bill also addresses uh, concerns raised by the Ward Bill case, Ward Bird case. It allows a person to brandish a gun when threatened and removes the mandatory three to six year sentence that forced Byrd to serve time in a state prison for his beha behavior when he confronted a trespasser on his Moulton Borough farm. His sentence was eventually commuted by the Executive Council. In the Senate, uh, Senator Matthew Hode, uh, Democrat Merit Meriden, noted the concern of the Attorney General's Office and the Chiefs of Police Association and of New Hampshire about the bill. I still fear this opens the doors for the use of deadly force in public at tremendous risk to bystanders, Hode said. I believe this is a solution in search of a problem. The current law works just fine. Yeah, that's why Ward Bird went to jail. Senator Sylvia Larson, Democrat Concord, said the bill puts public safety at risk and and may allow guns in courts, schools, daycares, and even the state house. This puts the public safety at risk, and that is wrong, she said. I 
hate to inform her, but you can already conceal carry into the state house. Um, well, schools, federal buildings, you can't. Uh, let's see. But Senator David Bouton, Republican hook, said, said the bill was a good compromise that promotes the Second Amendment rights of the citizens of New Hampshire. The bill now goes to the governor, who vetoed similar, similar uh, legislation seven, several years ago. Uh, the Senate voted down partisan lines 19 to 5 to approve the bill, and the House voted uh, 283 to 89. Both votes are enough to override a possible veto. Two provisions of uh, SB 88 that fell by the wayside during committee work would have eliminated the license requirement to carry a concealed weapon and created an optional license to allow reciprocity with other states. Wow. Okay. Uh, lawmakers have dropped their order to the dropped uh, the order to AG to join health care bill suit. Well, they can't do it anyway. So they cannot order the AG to do that. Uh, our executive council plan votes to defund Planned Parenthood. Good. Another good cost savings. House Senate plan on agree on plan to freeze education aid levels. That's not been touched. Uh, House and Senate agree to let parole board decide releases, not the governor or statutes. I just want to say we are taking leaps and bounds in this state and I hope it continues. They're on the right track. We got most of what we wanted with the gun rights. They'll, uh, it'll come back up for constitutional carry. I have no doubt. Anywho folks, just a quick update what's going on in the great state of New Hampshire. Peace out.